Hello friends, welcome to the course of Code Igniter for RESTful API development using Silt Authentication. Inside this video, we'll discuss about User Logout API. If I back to editor, inside the last video, we have seen the concept of Profile API. By the help of that, we fetched all about our user logged in profile information. Now this time, we'll work on Logout API. It means whenever we call logout API, by the help of that API call, we'll destroy the user data as well as its token value. So first let's go to slide. So far we had completed all about register API, login API, profile API. Now this time we'll work on user logout API. Back to editor, app, controllers, API, auth controller. So inside this auth controller class, here we have method that is logout. So what we have to do? First, as we know that this route, it means our logout API is also one of the protected route. So we need to add our filter condition first on this API call. So let's open our routes.php. Routes.php. So far we had implemented all about our filter inside this profile API. But like all these APIs, step by step what we'll learn, all are protected. So we need to add the same piece of code right here for this logout. So inside third parameter, third value of this get method, here we have an array and inside this array filter equals to API auth. This is an alias name what we had registered while creating our API auth filter. Now this time, we can get access over this logout method if we have a valid token value inside authorization header. So go inside our logout method. So after receiving the token value, first we need to log out the user data and remove all the token value and its permissions from session. So inside logout method, what we have to do? We will first use all about our auth helper function and auth helper function also provides a method that is logout. It will destroy the user data information. If user will be logged in, so it will destroy all about the profile information. And finally, also we need to destroy all about the user token. So auth user and then we need to call a method that is revoke all access tokens. So once we add these two lines of code inside logout method. First, it will destroy all about the information of logged in user as well as destroy token and revoke all the permissions. So let's return a response here. So return this respond created respond created inside this I am passing an array and let's say status equals to true message equals to user logged out successfully and here we have our third key that is data which is an empty array so finally all we have done with this logout method back to postman development server already started so i will copy this is the profile url go here put it here and let's remove that copy this url and for logout project url forward slash api forward slash logout so instead of profile it will be logout let's confirm from routes.php so from routes.php we can see logout now if we call this method without passing any token value, our filter will work and as expected that we can get invalid access page. Click on send button and as we can see invalid access. So it means to call all about our logout method, we need to pass a valid token value inside header. So go inside header and here I need to pass authorization as a key inside value, let's say bearer space and then we need to pass a token value so here inside this login method login api this is the token value so i will copy the token value from here and go inside this logout method after bearer i will pass this value 
So once we pass this token value and with the logout API call, it will go and call logout method and destroy all about the user data, revoke all the access and destroy token. So go here, click on send button. Now as you can see, user logged out successfully. So if we want to get the profile information with the same token value here, let's copy the token value from here, go to profile API and if I want to use the same token value to get the profile information and as we know that this token has been destroyed now, click on send button. Now as you can see, invalid access. So it means to get the profile information, we want to pass a valid token value. So go inside our login API call, let's generate a new token value, click on send button and as we can see that we are getting an error and this is all about the user info means the user has a user info in session. So it means the user data not completely destroyed. So while calling this login API as we know that this is a open URL it means there is no condition of any filter while calling this API. So to get rid of this error what we have to do back to editor. So here inside this auth controller class, let's go inside our login method and here at the top of this method, what I will do, I will add if condition, so if auth and I will check logged in, it means if any session data of existing user exists in session, so first I will destroy that. So here let's say auth and I will call logout method. So once we add these lines of code inside at the top of this login method, so automatically if any session data of existing user will exist, it will destroy and then move forward back to postman. So with the same response and data, I will click on send button. Now this time as we can see that user logged in successfully and we didn't get any error. Now hopefully. If I will copy this token value, go inside our profile API. So instead of getting invalid access, let's pass a new token value. Click on send button and as we can see, profile information of logged in user. Again, if you go inside our logout API, let's destroy our new token value. Bearer, this is the new token value. Click on send button. And as we can see, choose our logged out successfully. If we want to get access, of all about the profile information, we are not able to access that. So this is overall a chain what we have developed by using this register API, login API, profile API and logout API. So finally, this is API also done. So in the next video, we'll see some more different concept about these APIs. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.